Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to the fourth and final part of the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse for the Super Nintendo. And here we are, we are entering the final stage of the game, Pete's Castle. Or wouldn't it be Emperor Pete? Because, well, that is the villain's name, you know, Emperor Pete, but whatever. Gee, sure is to the dark in there! Well, all castles are. Maybe this isn't the Emperor's castle after all. Arf, arf. What? That's Pluto barking! This must be Emperor Pete's castle! I'll save you, Pluto! Don't worry! I'm doing enough worrying for the both of us! And suddenly the castle opens up for Mickey because... Sure, why not? Uh, you know, at this point, uh, Mickey's been pretty much curb-stopping Emperor Pete's forces, and, well, probably Emperor Pete's, uh, impressed by this little mouse, you know, how he goes all this way to just to save his dog, you know? Come on, dog owners do a lot of things to save their pets, trust me on this one. So here we are, the final level, and it's, uh, well, for the most part, it's, it's kind of short, for one. And two, um, it'll give you an opportunity to use all of your, well, suits one last time. And by the way, I forgot to mention this since, well, all the way back in part one. I, I don't know if I did mention it in part one, but in case I didn't, well, here you go. In order to change suits, you have to press the R shoulder button, and then to confirm the, the suit that you want to pick, press the A button. So, yeah. Sorry if I didn't mention this earlier, but, uh, well, better late than never, I always say. Anyway, folks, we are close to getting another heart for Mickey. So in order to get this heart, we're going to have to dive down and be careful. Those are those fish that once they grab you and pull you under, you're pretty much dead. We go down here, and behind these blocks right here is a way to a shop. Yeah, that's right, folks. There's an entrance to a shop underwater. Huh. You know, I'm wondering uh, if this guy is, uh, well, aqua proof or something, waterproof or something. Who knows? Uh, magic and all that stuff. So yeah, we just got heart number nine in the game. <laughs> yeah, and again, it costs 200 coins, so um, thankfully with the past couple of levels that uh, I built up some coins right here and there, especially when I get bonuses for uh, completing a level, you should have enough to, well, get this heart at least. Alright, now we're going to proceed onward as soon as I get up there. Come on, climbing gear. There we go. Now, to get across this gap, what we have to do is jump on these flying helmets with eyes? What the... Um, okay? Video game and all that stuff. It's weird. Now, here's the thing. Before I proceed onward to the right, where the uh, statue is, let's go in this statue right here. Why, you may ask? Well, for one, it actually takes us back to near the beginning of the stage, well, this portion at least. And two, well, there is a block up here that I want to get. So, get rid of this guard right here, this archer. And... bam. Extra life. So, yeah. Four lives. Or technically five lives, because uh, I think zero does count as a life, so it's one of those kind of games, you know. And yes, if you go into the statue on the far left, it just brings you back to that one statue that I just came out of. So yeah, the only way to proceed is to actually repeat this uh, area once again. But again, this area is short, so I have no trouble showing this off again. I mean, it just takes, um, you know, um, some patience and stuff, especially if you want extra life. I mean, an extra life can be beneficial to you if you don't want to get a game over, you see. But like I said earlier, this game has unlimited continues, and you exact and you start exactly where you died at. Like uh, if I was die at the boss room, like six uh, four, I would start again at six four if I get a game over. So yeah. Anyway, this uh, section right here and the next section, spoilers, contains this uh, magic carpet ride that you need to uh, use the Turbine Mickey to power. And it's not really flying per se; it's more like gliding downward slowly. Don't worry, we're going to get more of this actually coming up, folks, because, uh, see? Another magic carpet, and a magic lamp to repower Turban Mickey. 
Now here's the thing. I want to conserve as much magic as I can, so I'm just gonna take a risky uh, maneuver and jump down these uh, blocks right here. And the reason why it's so risky is because, well, these spikes here are actually insta-kill. <laughs> So, uh, Pete went to, uh, the same shop Dr. Wily went to, but of course this is also a Capcom game, it makes sense, you know? <laughs> yeah, even though I have, uh, all these hearts, one hit, and, well, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, technically I could have jumped off right here because at the bottom, there are no spikes, it's completely safe, you know? It's just that, uh... I was being a little cautious, you know? I didn't know what's at the bottom, so you see. Alright, and we're already at uh, stage 6-3. <laughs> see, we're almost there. So let's show off the uh, firefighter clothes one more time because, well, well after this, we're not going to be using the firefighter clothes again because um, I will finish this game using the magic turbot. You'll see, uh, well, when we get to it. And we are introduced to a new enemy. Shooting cannon guys. Now, uh, to be fair, it is uh, easy to take these guys out with the firefighting gear or something, but at the same time, it's uh, kind of annoying trying to dodge all these cannonballs you see. Now, I suppose I can switch to Turban Mickey and blast them with, uh, you know, magic powers and stuff, but at the same time, I want to conserve as much magic energy as I can, you know? Because, uh, well, I'm going to use it against the good old Emperor Pete himself when the time comes. And yes, I'm going to get hurt a lot with these cannonballs, but I'm not too worried because, guess what? We can get actually one more big heart in this stage. And it's coming up real soon, so yeah. And, uh, as you've noticed, every time I get a new heart, my health refills, so... Again, I'm not that worried. Now, I suppose there are two hearts in this stage to make up for the fact that there is no heart, as far as I'm aware back in the ice level, the snowy valley. And here we are, we have these non-thwomps again, but we're going to use them to reach some higher places. So, Alright, let's take this one right here, let this one go up, and we're going to ride this one up to the left, because uh, that's actually where the big heart is located. And so let's just get... Ah, okay, we'll take two, we'll try it again, and we'll get it this time. Now this section here, there are actually four uh, Pete statues right here. This one here, for example, this one will actually take us to a room where we have to face the Dark Woods uh, boss again, the Dark Forest boss again. Only this time, uh, there are grooves in the ground, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same boss. Well, mini-boss, that is. Yes, yeah, this is pretty much a mini-boss room. But the thing is, you don't have to actually, well, tackle it. You can just skip it all entirely and just proceed onward to the boss in general. So, uh, yeah. Now, the statue that I just moved the Not Thwomp on was uh, the mini boss, the bat creature from um, Treetops. And the one that's to the right of the, well, the right statue right there, I believe that's the uh, Fire, Fire Grotto mini boss. So, yeah. They're pretty much the same guys, except different environments, like the Fire Grotto boss is much smaller, and, well, the room is, so, yeah. Now, here's the thing, I just showed off. You can completely skip these mini-bosses, you don't have to fight them, they're just a waste of time and resources, which is why you go I went into the correct statue, where I am now fighting good old Emperor Pete himself. So, yeah, we're fighting the big guy himself, and he is big. Now, I know that Pete's usually big in the cartoons and stuff, but he wasn't this big. He's ginormous. I... yeah. Anyway, what I'm doing right here is I am shooting magic power directly at Emperor Pete's face. But Emperor Pete has his own sets of Hocus Pocus. He can bring these torches to life, which, by the way, are your only source to refill your magic meter. So, um, make sure you have enough to destroy the torches so that you can refill on magic meter. And occasionally he can uh, bring walls to life to try and hurt Mickey and release these blue flames, I guess. But overall, this boss isn't too bad, especially if you have a ten hearts. So, um, uh, uh, let's see. We'll take this guy down like so, and yeah, we did it. We beat the game, and we have rescued Pluto. <sighs> oh boy, you sure are a sight for sore eyes. We're gonna be just fine. Let's do. Let's get out of here and go home. Ah, Pluto, cut it out. That took 
Pickles, slow down, we'll stop. And it was all just a dream. <laughs> they pulled the Super Mario USA route, Super Mario 2 that is. And no, I am not doing Donald Duck's voice. Can you imagine how much strain it would take on my voice? I mean, those actors who have played Donald Duck throughout the years, I mean, they must have had good vocal coaching, a lot of training, probably drank a lot of concoctions, but, uh, yeah. Oh, my way, Donald! So, yeah, basically it ends with Mickey waking up from his dream, and they're going outside to play catch. Ah, uh, I see what you did there, game. Bookends. We started with a game of catch, and we are ending with a game of catch, you know? <laughs> smart, smart, smart. And then it realizes that, well, <laughs> the adventure will happen for real, and Mickey will have to go off, and uh, it's a never-ending cycle, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like Groundhog Day or something. So yeah, folks, um, that was uh, The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse. And it's a fun game, a short game, and, um, and it's probably one of the major complaints that people had about this game, but I like it. I enjoy it. It's uh, something to kill some time if you, well, want to kill some time in an afternoon, a couple of hours or so. And this game was popular enough to warrant a couple of sequels, you know, uh, The Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie, also for the Super Nintendo, and it was also re-released for the GBA. And uh, actually, folks, I want to do The Great Circus Mystery because I did for a time had that game as well. And then there was a third sequel that I did not know it existed, uh, the Magical Quest 3 starring Mickey and Donald. I mean, I didn't know it was, existed at the time. I think it was released for the Super Famicom, but then it finally got a US release when it was uh, ported to the GBA. So, um, yeah. Alright folks, uh, that's it for this game. I hope you had fun watching it, and uh, with that, uh, have a good day.